I want to talk about annuities. Annuities are a special case of multiple cash flows where all the cash flows are the same amount. And the nice thing about annuities is that there are formulas for solving them. So you don't have to solve for the present value of each individual cash flow and then sum them up. There's actually a formula to do that. And there are lots of examples of annuities. Mortgage payments, you may pay $1,200 a month for the next 30 years. A car loan, you may be paying $427 a month for the next five years to pay off your car. You may have a pension that uh, pays $3,000 a month for the rest of your life. These are all examples of annuities. So when we look at the annuities, we want to find, for example, the present value of these annuities we have a formula that says it's a dollars divided by one plus the interest rate plus a dollars divided by one plus the interest rate squared okay on and on for as many periods as we have and we'll call that n now what do we know here if you look at this equation, we can factor out the A, because A is in every term here, and we get 1 over 1 plus R plus 1 over 1 plus R squared, again, etc., etc., all the way out for as many periods as we have. Notice that this term in the brackets is independent of the A. So this annuity factor, as we sometimes call it, let me write that down, this is the present value annuity factor, there's also one for a future value, but the present value annuity factor is independent of the size of the annuity. So if you had a $100 annuity, you'd multiply it times this factor. If you had a $600 annuity, you'd multiply it times this factor. And if you do some algebra, and I won't do that for you, the annuity factor looks like this. Present value annuity factor is going to be equal to 1 minus the present value factor divided by the interest rate. So if you want to expand that, it's simply going to be 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r raised to the nth power, all divided by r. So let's try an example and let's see how this look, look, looks. Okay, suppose uh, you win the lottery. So you win $50,000 per year for the next 20 years. And I'm going to assume the first payment will be one year from today. This is actually what we refer to as an ordinary annuity. And that's what we're, we're normally going to use. I'll show you the uh, other case where you get the payment right away. Sometimes they call that end of period cash flows. Um, sometimes when I word a problem, I will say, I will tell you that you get your first cash flow one year from today. Now, if you wanted to do the present value equation, it would be present value equals 50,000 divided by 1 plus whatever the interest rate is, and let's use an interest rate equal to 10%. So 1.10 plus 50,000 divided by 1.10 squared, etc., etc., all the way out to year 20. And you could certainly do that, but that's, that's rather tedious. But if we use this annuity formula, we would get this. We would get 50,000 times 
1 minus 1 over 1 plus 0 0.10 raised to the 20th power all over 0 0.10. So let's see what that factor is. Let's work that out. 1.1 1 .1 raised to the 20th power is 6.727, but we want 1 over that, so we can hit the 1 over x key and that'll flip it over. And then we want to subtract this number for one, from 1. So let's just make hit the plus minus key, make it negative, and add 1 to it. And then we divide by 0.1. And then we can multiply that times the 50,000. And we get 425,678 and 19 cents. So quite easily computed. And um, nice to use this formula. Actually, even easier, we can use these the financial calculator. We can use the time value of money functions here. So let's hit second clear TVM. And what do we know? We know the number of periods is 20. We know the interest rate is 10. And we want to put in the payment. That's that PMT key we haven't used yet. That's going to be 50,000. That's our payment, and we just compute the present value. I don't know what that was that popped up there, but we get 425,678 and 19 cents. Okay, so we get the same answer. If we want to assume that the first payment is made today, today, which we sometimes refer to as beginning of period, but the, the term we use is we call this an annuity due. That's the term. I don't know where they got that term from. How would we do that? Well, if we were setting up the present value equation, it would look like this. It would be the present value equals 50,000, you don't have to discount it, plus 50,000 divided by 1.10 plus 50,000 divided by 1.10 squared and on and on out to year 19. Remember, that'll still be 20 payments because the first payment is in year 0. So this is going to be 50k divided by 1.10 to the 19th power. So, if you think about it, there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could, use, we could use our time value of money function keys and say 19 periods and then just add the 50,000, right? This looks like an annuity, for an ordinary annuity for 19 periods. So, I have all those numbers in here and all I have to do is change the n from 20 to 19. I don't have to change anything else. And I hit compute present value. All right, I'm going to change the sign back to positive. And then I'm going to add 50,000. And I get 468,246. So doing it that way, I get that number. 468,246 and essentially no cents. Okay, what else could I do? If I look back to this equation here, if I multiplied everything by 1.10, what would happen? This would disappear. This would be raised to the first power this would be raised to the 19th power. So I should be able to take the answer I had before. And let's see if that works. 
425,678 and 19 cents and then just multiply it by 1.1 1 .1, and I get 468,246 I get the same answer okay there's another way I can do it which I'll show you if you can see over top of the PMT key is something that says BGN you can if you hit second and hit that this says end that means that we're using end of period cash flows that is an ordinary annuity if I hit second enter it changes to BGN which is beginning of period cash flows so and you see up in the corner it says BGN if you do if you switch this switch it back because normally we'll use end of period cash flows so let me let me type in the numbers again and we should get the same answer we can say 20 periods interest rate is 10 percent and the payment is 50,000 but now the calculator knows that the first cash flow is in the beginning of the period I don't know what that is that keeps popping up and I'm going to say compute present value and I get the same answer so a couple of ways to do present value of an annuity and in the next tutorial I'll show you the future value of an annuity